In this screencast, we're going to take a look at the IDE Feature Trainer in IntelliJ IDEA. New and existing users to IntelliJ IDEA can use this to get more familiar with the shortcuts, features and workflows that the IDE has to offer. I'm going to use IntelliJ IDEA 2020.1, but the Feature Trainer was integrated into IntelliJ IDEA from version 2020.3. It's available in both our Community Edition and Ultimate from the Learn IntelliJ IDEA tab on the welcome screen. Let's take a look at it in more detail. We can access the Feature Trainer from the Start Learning button. It will load a project for you that will exist on your machine in the default location for your IntelliJ IDEA projects. On the left hand side is a list of modules. There are seven in 2021.1. Each module contains several lessons. These are shown in blue. On the right hand side, you can read all about the feature trainer itself and what it offers. Let's take a look at the essential module in more detail. We can click the context actions lesson to get started. The feature trainer provides step by step guidance on the left hand side. And on the right hand side, you'll see some sample code that the feature trainer will guide you through. I'm using a Mac for this demo, so I'm being asked to press Option and Return for context actions. When I do that, the next step is highlighted for me so I can continue to follow the instructions. You can reset lessons even if you've previously completed them by clicking this little refresh icon at the top of the Learn pane. They will still be marked as completed, but you can run through them again as many times as you like. Now that I've finished this lesson, I'll progress on to the next lesson search for actions. We can click on any shortcut in the feature trainer. These are based on the operating system that you're running IntelliJ IDEA on. This will show you the wording for the shortcut, for example, Command, Shift and A, give you a link to apply that shortcut instead of using your keyboard, and you can optionally assign it to a different keyboard shortcut if required. You don't need to complete the modules or lessons in order either. For example, we can go from the second lesson in the Essential module down to the Extract Method lesson in the Refactorings module and complete that one next. The Feature Trainer also has some workflows built in that can help you to understand the features in more depth. For example, let's look at the Debug workflow lesson in the Run and Debug module. The steps for this lesson are quite detailed and we can step through them at our own pace. If you accidentally move the carrot at any point in a lesson, you can click Restore to reset the code view and then carry on with the lesson. If you accidentally type something in the wrong place, again, you can click Restore to carry on with the lesson. There is a link called Leave Feedback at the bottom of the Learn pane. This will open in your default browser and allow you to share your feedback on the Feature Trainer with JetBrains. We'd love to hear your feedback, so please do let us know how you get on using this link. When you've finished with the Feature Trainer, you can just close it as you would any other IntelliJ IDEA project. The project is stored on your machine along with your other IntelliJ IDEA projects. You can return to the trainer at any time by opening the project from the welcome screen. If you're working on a different project, such as my Code Samples project, you can also access the Feature Trainer from the Help menu. Finally, there are some helpful resources here that it's worth being aware of in the welcome screen. Help will open the IntelliJ IDEA online documentation. Getting started will open our resources center where you can browse the IntelliJ IDEA knowledge base and view videos. Demos and screencasts will take you to our IntelliJ IDEA YouTube channel where you can watch more screencasts like this one. The key map reference will load the default key maps for the operating system that you're working on. And finally, tip of the day is useful for learning new bite-sized pieces of information about IntelliJ IDEA. We hope that you've enjoyed learning about the Feature Trainer in IntelliJ IDEA. It's also available in our other IDEs. For more videos like this one, please click on the subscribe link. Thanks for watching.